you. Just me. Feel bad. Oh, Duke. Slim. I. I didn't know that you were coming back. Oh, this is a surprise. Yes. This is a surprise. Duke Lavery? Thank you so much for lunch. Vietnamese is my favorite. And you picked the perfect spot for a picnic. Oh, good. I, I feared that due to our exposed position on the cliff that the wind chill might have been off-putting. Are you kidding? Cold heightens the synapses. How else do you think I could have spotted that falcon? It's true. I mean, he was almost invisible on, on the first pass, but he certainly became bolder as he circled back. I know. Mm -hmm. It got so close, I thought it was going to steal my bon me. <laughs> Although, I don't know if humans. Have you done any research? Damien? Hmm? Are you okay? You seem a little distracted. Uh, apologies. Um, I'm just a little preoccupied with thoughts of a friend. Oh, you mean Maxie. Uh, I'm so sorry. I thought I muted it. Oh, that's okay. Whatever it is, it's good timing a few minutes earlier. Would have been really bad. Uh, I think this time was it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't actually think that you're pregnant right now. I don't know. I'm just I'm really happy. And according to the charts and the graphs, we're doing everything charts. that we're supposed to. And not to get awkward. But, uh, but you're going to get rid anyway? Well, your mom saw us with a uh, child, and yeah. her premonitions have been really accurate. You're right to have. Is that a bad thing? Well, she keeps seeing Heather Weber. And maybe she's back in Port Charles. Oh, my God! Steve! Please! Steve! Can you hear me, please? <gasps> Heather Weber has my son? We thought he was safe in Landview with Teo Delgado. But Heather took him. I don't have a partner in crime. You're still trying to cover your own ass. I'm talking about Heather Why Weber. Why are we talking about Heather Weber? Did, did Heather run off with Taya's kid? No, she ran off with Sam's kid. For the second time, thanks to you. The baby's been missing since yesterday My afternoon. Baby. My baby, all this time, Heather. I mean, we think that he was dead. We have to find him before it's true, Sam. Jason. You're gonna be fine, sweetheart. You don't have to worry about what happens next. That's mommy's job. I've got great big plans for you. Yes, I do. Soon we'll be far, far away from this awful place. Of course, I do wish Stephen Lars was coming with us. I did what I had to do. Don't look at me like that. I couldn't help it if I had to knock him out. He was going to call the police on us. And can you believe it? I mean, really, my own son. After all I've done for him, or all I was about to do, and I'm going to do it for you instead. Yes, you are my little do-over. Son, I was always meant to have. Mm. Mm. Your mother? Wait, well, Heather was here? Oh, I don't think she realized it. Okay, I have my okay, phone. Easy, 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 easy. Phone, please. easy. Yeah. Honey, I will call for help. You just rest. Rest, please. It wasn't out that long. She can't have gotten far. Well, I should uh, get back to the station. No, no, I don't have to open the club for another hour. I did work 24 straight hours. I, I do deserve a rest. Well, I wasn't implying resting. That's good. We're just quiet. She'll go away. So much for that. All right, Maxie, I'm coming. Just hold on. Yeah, Ma, hey. 
Dad, hey, uh, honey, I'm, I'm at uh, Caesar Cutler right now. His mother was here. She uh, attacked him. Wait, wait, is she still there? No, she's gone. Well, you gotta be careful, Ma. How do you, do you know she's gone? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I checked. I checked everywhere. She's not here anymore. Hey, what, what, what about Steve? Steve, I think, um, I think he's got a bad bump on his head and he's, uh, he's bleeding a lot, but I think he's gonna be okay. What about the baby? Uh, the baby? He wasn't here. No, he said she did not have a baby with her. What about what about the 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 the, the kid's mother, the Tail Delgado? Did, did Heather talk about her or why why she took the kid at all? Um, did did, did uh, Heather say anything about the baby or his mother? Sam Morgan. What? The baby, he's Sam Morgan's. Okay. Um, Dante, I think you better meet us at the hospital. I think maybe Steve is, is worse off than I thought. Hi. This is not really a good time. Well, yeah, for me either, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be calling you, texting you, banging on your door, begging for help. Okay, for I'm going to call you in an hour. Actually, that's not okay. Hey. This is important. Hey, we uh, got a break in the Heather Weber case. I got to uh, get to work. Oh, okay. Well, lock her up and throw away the key. Bye, Dante. Yeah. Guess you don't need that hour. That works out. All right, so what's the emergency? It's Spinelli. He's found his perfect girl. And it's not me. Maxie, um, why, why did you think that she'd, she'd be in my thoughts? Simple probability. She was the last person we saw before we went on our date. So when you mentioned a friend, I just did logical deduction. That yeah, is a logical conclusion, yes. Although, on second thought, she couldn't be the person you were thinking about, as Maxie is not a friend and won't be until you find yourself involved in a serious relationship, which, of course, you're not yet. Right. I have not yet met the stated criteria to continue my friendship with Maxie. Even so, it was clear that Maxie was worried that we might have had sexual relations. It's obvious Maxie still cares oh, about wait, you. And I'm sorry, did, did Maxie ask if we had consummated our relationship? I'm not entirely sure if she asked, but the subject definitely came up during Girl Talk. I, I'm really sorry if she seemed intrusive. No, no, she was really very nice. Although, I misunderstood. If the person you were distracted by wasn't Maxie, then do you mind if I ask who was? Sam. Uh, Samantha Morgan. Um. We had a distressful encounter. Really? What happened? Well, as you know, she's my business partner in private investigation, and as such, she is most skilled in the ability to ferret out even the tiniest of morsels of information, and she decided to unleash her skills on me. <laughs> she interrogated you? Yeah. Her estranged husband, Jason Morgan, wished to impart certain information to her, but they were interrupted, so she tried to coerce that information out of me. Do you know the information she was asking about? Oh, well, I can only assume that Jason was trying to, to share his suspicion that the infant that died last summer was not Sam's, and it just, it seemed gratuitously cruel to, to raise Sam's hopes only to have them dashed again. Yeah, I really don't understand how those tests I ran on the tissue samples could have been wrong. It's a mystery to us both. And uh, perhaps I was foolish, but I, I, I hope that good news would allow Sam and Jason to move past their differences and come back together again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that it's happening this way. What are they doing to find them? There are APBs in Landview, in Port Charles, and, and it's a kidnapping, so the feds are involved. I talked to Stephen Weber, and he's going to let me know if Heather tries to make any contact at oh, all. Okay, but what if she doesn't, she will. Jason? She, she will. She's obsessed with her son. Then why the hell go after my son? And I, I don't understand this other woman, Taya. Why would she let Heather after, anywhere after, near the baby? After Heather escaped from Ferncliff, she she went to Landview. She approached Taya. Taya recognized Heather as the Good Samaritan who saved her baby. My baby. Yeah, right, right. Oh, Heather Heather convinced baby. Taya to hire her as a nanny. A nanny? Jason, how long has this cycle been working for her? She's what? been around my baby. No, less than a month. Oh, five minutes. Five seconds is too long to be around Heather. When McBain saw the baby, he was perfectly healthy. No, I, I don't understand. Why didn't John say anything? We were waiting for the DNA test so we could prove the baby was yours. McBain went down the land view to explain to Taya. But by the time he got there, Heather and your son were already gone. If Heather Weber, the town lunatic, is running off with people's babies, what, why are you talking to me? This is important, Manning. Has Heather been in contact with you? No, not, not, not since I, I had to fire her, because she's a criminal. And <clears throat> the only criminal I want working in my newspaper is me. So you haven't heard from her? 
No, not since they shipped her off to the Looney Bin. I know you've been in contact with her. I have proof. You know who I am? I know who you look like. The late Duke Lavery, nightclub owner, alleged mobster. But he was in Port Charles when I wasn't, so we never met. And then he died. Yeah, that's what I believed, too. Anna, you just went through this hell, thinking Robin was back from the dead. You're not going to do this again, are you? No, but he... Oh, he... He explained everything, and it's a long story. Yes, really. did it include a retina scan, fingerprints, and dental records? He said things that only Duke could know. Duke couldn't know anything right now. He's been dead for years. Well, apparently not, because here I am standing here very much alive and well. I know it seems impossible, but it's true. Anna and I have a lot of catching up to do, so... If you don't mind. Actually, I do. I've gone through an unbelievable amount of trouble to fight my way back to Anna. So whatever it is that Spencer wants to say to you, I'm sure it can wait. What Spencer is here to do is unpack. I'm sorry? This is my place. Well, mine and hers. You live with this man? Yeah, after Robin died, I... I... I decided to stay in Port Charles so that I could be close to my granddaughter. Granddaughter? You're a gra Yes. Robin has a daughter? She does. She's a lovely little girl called Emma. And Luke understood how important it was for me to be here, so he gave me the second bedroom. Ah. Well, I see. So you are roommates. We're a little more than that. So, we're talking about Spinelli's date at the wedding. Ellie, she's the emergency. I can live with just one date. This is serious. How serious? Well, they're having lunch and looking for birds as we speak. Is that supposed to mean something? Hello, Lulu. This girl speaks Spinelli's language. She's part of the Astronomers Club. She actually thinks science is fun. And the fact that Spinelli's taking her on a bird-watching picnic proves that he wants to actually get to know her. Won't be long before he's dragging her to the comic book store. And I bet you Ellie is, like, a huge fan of the Avengers. Her favorite character is probably the Incredible Hulk, just like Spinelli. Although I could never get into anyone besides Spidey Thor. That's just because he was played by that really hot Australian hey, actor. you know what? You should relax because she's not Ellie Spinelli yet, okay? Ellie Spinelli, it sounds like an 80s band. Scritty Politi? No, like Millie Vanilli. Why are we even talking about this? Now could you make a joke about Spinelli getting married? I can't get married. Why not? You did. 